hello you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be getting some lip filler done and right now I'm just gonna be getting ready for that so first I'm gonna start with spraying my face with some rose water to make sure that it is hydrated enough for the snail mucin because when you apply snail mucin your face is supposed to be wet um, so it absorbs more moisture from the snail mucin. Let me show you how that looks like. And my snail mucin, it's by Cosrx. It is really good and um, I always use it in the morning and at nighttime to make sure that my skin is plump for the next day for when I do wear makeup. And I'm a little bit nervous about getting lip filler even though I've done it before. Last time that I got my lip filler done was about like nine months ago and I got one milliliter of the Ultra Juvederm and that one was super hydrating and it lasted me a while and I you can still tell that my lip is a little bit of a bigger size than my natural one but basically today I'm just going for 0 0.5 uh, for a touch up. My experience with the first time was amazing. I went to a certified doctor and she is amazing. Like She knows what she's doing. She is so sweet. When you go in they offer you a drink um, and they also have like other snacks there. And then after that, um, they get you into the room and they tell you that you have to apply your numbing cream. You apply your numbing cream and then they have this tool that they hold on your sides while the doctor injects it. And now I'm just going in with some sunscreen while the doctor injects it. And it's honestly not that painful. It just feels like something like biting your lips like a like a sting you know that only lasts a couple seconds and you don't really feel anything in the bottom except like the top lip um and they say that you can take like tylenol before your appointment and then there's also these little tablets i forgot what they're called but you can like take them and they work really well too and they keep down the inflammation after the lips um you know swell I didn't really have a problem with swelling or bruising when I first got my lip injections done, even though that was a different format of the hyaluronic acid because the first one was definitely more um, voluminous and this one is more hydrating that I'm going in for. So I don't think it's going to be that bad and I'm not saying that, you know, you guys should get lip filler, I'm just sharing my experience and just I did lots of research before I went to get my lips done because I made sure that I didn't want like migration to occur and it literally did not occur so I was very happy that I did my research on who I was gonna go to because that's very very important now I'm just going in with the creamy concealer by elf underneath my eyes you're not really supposed to wear any makeup but they sometimes like take pictures to track your progress so i just wanted to wear makeup like what if i end up on their campaign or something you know so you always gotta look good for yourself and looking good results in feeling good so that's what i think it's important to feel good you know now we're just blending that out on like my blemishes kind of going in like Hailey Bieber did with her concealer on parts where I have blemishes but that's mainly it I don't want to do too much today because you're not supposed to be wearing makeup when you get lip filler done <laughs> I need just a little bit on my upper lip because I a little bit a 
of a blemish. The Rare Beauty bronzer just on my forehead and on my upper cheek. Um, the higher you put like your contour, the more like snatched your face is gonna look. That's why I love bronzer because it makes such a difference in your makeup. And I'm just blending that out with my brush. I find that beauty blenders work really well with this type of contour, but I'm going in with the brush because I have to wet my beauty blender and then I have to wash it because apparently you're supposed to wash your beauty blender every time you use it with like soap. So I just don't want to do that right now. So I'm just going in with my brush. And also like br like contour bronzer whatever you want to call it it makes like it makes you look like you're more tan and if you're pale you know that bronzer is probably your best friend just like it is mine so now I'm just buffing that into my skin and the most important part of makeup is blending if you can't blend your contour or your makeup it's just not gonna sit well and that's why I always tell people, don't rush when you do your makeup, take your time, blend your contour, blend your eyeshadow, because you're just going to look that much better when you do. I'm just putting a little bit on my nose. Look at that, that looks snatched. And now I am gonna go in with some blush. Wow. So now I'm going in with some blush. I'm using the Juvia's one. This one's like really good and pigmented. And, and I'm using the same brush because I, I gotta wash all my brushes anyway. So I'm just gonna use that brush and just put it on the higher parts of our cheeks. And I heard that you can put um. Ooh, that's really pigmented. You get to see more on camera, I think. But basically, when you do your blush, you're supposed to do them like, like that. And it's gonna look really good. So I'm trying that technique out today. I'm gonna put some on my nose because you can never have too much blush, just like Madison Beer said. You could never have too much blush. Okay, what's next? Now I am going in with... Um, <laughs> now we're going to be going in with our Kylie Cosmetics powder. Her powder is like clean. That's what I really love about it because I was looking for a powder with clean ingredients. And you, you know that it's pretty hard to find a powder with good ingredients. You know, it might be good texture and stuff and it might make your makeup look good, but if it's not good for your skin wise and you use it every day, um, that's what I did. I swapped mine out and it has made a huge difference in my health because I remember when I used to use like the Airspun one used to make me like sneeze and I found out just recently that apparently it's either you're allergic to it or it's expired so yeah we're never doing that again I would rather buy high-end products that don't have those harmful ingredients in them than do too much you know so we just now I'm just using a brush to blend out that baking under my eyes usually baking like it means that you keep on the powder for a while so then it looks better but you don't really have to do that if you're not like wearing a full face of makeup so we just did that blending it out right here right here and 
now we are going to go in with our hair soap that I got at the dollar store like two years ago and it's working amazingly. You just spray the rose water onto the soap. Then you go in with your spoolie and you just do this with it to get the product in. And you just brush your brows upwards. Like, I don't even have to fill in my brows anymore after I learned this technique because it's so good. It gives you that, like, fluffy brow look without you actually putting in any effort. The things you learn, like, I learned all of this on TikTok and you just learn so much on TikTok. Now I'm just going in with the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and I'm putting that on my nose. I'm just making a little line across my nose. I really love this highlighter. I, I don't think that any highlighter beats this one. And today is an amazing day. Like every day I try to tell myself like the things that I'm grateful for and just have that lucky girl syndrome. And it honestly works when you name three things that you're grateful for, amazing opportunities show up for you. And basically today I just got an email and it said that I had an interview today and I forgot that I even scheduled a job interview today, but they were, um, they were offering me a lot of money for this one job, but because I'm still in school, you know, I couldn't go in with the application process, but what they did is they referred me to a job board. They're going to have a meeting with all like college students and I'm really excited to get into that because it's related to business and I see myself as an entrepreneur, I see myself doing YouTube, I see myself doing multiple things at once just because I love what I do and if you love what you do, the money's gonna follow. So do what you love and the rest will follow because I could not like see myself doing certain things um, and just being happy with my life just for the money because you're gonna be doing it for the rest of your life so you better love it, you know? That's my mindset. And now I'm going in with just Aquaphor on my lips because you're not supposed to put like any product on your lips. So we're just going with a little bit of Aquaphor on our lips. So this is the final makeup I think I got a hair on my lip. Oh, and it looks like I gotta blend some powder over here. I gotta blend some powder out. Okay, now it's done. Well, anyways, this is the final makeup tutorial, you guys. I hope you like this chit chat today. And stay tuned for more exciting videos related to makeup, fashion, beauty, lifestyle vlogs. And I'm just going to film the rest of the day regards to my appointment for lip filler. So let's get right on with that. I'm now here and I am really excited to get my lips done. And I'm little bit nervous. So the numbing cream is on. I can't really like feel my lips anymore. It's kind of feels like local anesthesia when you get your um, like teeth pulled. So just waiting for my doctor to come in. Mm -hmm.
So this is the final result of how they're looking and they look very subtle and natural which I love.